Hey now. Okay, in between me shooting last week's video, which was Friday morning, and actually posting it, which was, I think, Friday night, uh, my cat ran off. And she was missing for a week, okay? And I was so bummed out, I felt so empty, <laughs> that I couldn't even bring myself to answer or to reply to anybody's comments from the last video. And, like, I was just, I was so... Like, I, I don't even say I was just depressed to where, you know, I just couldn't reply. And I do repre I do appreciate when people comment on my videos. So, and I'm sorry I couldn't really respond. <laughs> I was just so <laughs> bummed out. But luckily, there she is right there, sleeping. She just came back this morning, and I'm, like, super thrilled. So, I feel I can do this video with a, uh, with a little bit lighter heart. You know what I'm saying? Okay. I uh, went on a road trip, and uh, oh, what what am I gonna say here? Went on a road trip, uh, found some really good books, and I guess we'll start with uh, uh, what is this? De some really cool detective variants featuring Batwoman. Uh, this is Detective Eight Fifty Four, uh, J. Jean Jones cover. Picked this up for five bucks. Now there's no variant for 855, 856, or 857, but there is a really cool Adam Hughes cover for 858. I I think I don't know if too many people know about this one. I mean, as far as Adam Hughes covers go, this feels like under the radar because I'm just now finding out about the cover. You know? Uh, how much did I pay for this? Got that for five bucks as well. I think this one goes for maybe, er, I want to say around 20, around 20 to 30 or something like that. This one might be the cheap, although I think this is the best cover. I think this one is, might be the cheapest at like 10 to 15. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. Here we go with Detective 859, a jock cover. And I picked that up for eight. This is my second copy of this. And I found Detective 860 with Alex Ross, uh, Alex Ross art. So, yeah, I mean, you have Alex Ross, Adam Hughes, Jacques, and J.G. Jones doing their different takes on Batwoman. How cool is that? Uh, I said, what did I say? Pick this up for eight. Pick that up for eight as well. I think this goes for... I don't know, maybe 20. I remember these books, I think with the exception of this one, which I had never seen up until uh, last week's video. But with these other, these other variants, I believe weren't really going for that much. I think may, at, maybe a couple of months ago, these were like $5 variants and now they've kind of jumped up into the $20, $30 range. You know what I'm saying? So I, all this time, I thought this was the Alex Ross cover. It turns out it was Adam Hughes. Hmm, okay. All right. Now we'll get to more of the uh, road trip books in a minute, but I'm going to do some local stuff first. Uh, I picked this up yesterday at a local store. This is Ultimates 3, number 3. Uh, this is a Frank Cho variant. Now, on the outset, this kind of, this looks kind of like a, you know, like a little cheesy cover. But I don't know what it is about it. Like, I'm not, like it's, you know, cheesecake art. But at the same time, the level of detail in the cover, like, once you really get close up on it, is really, like, amazing. This is a really just highly detailed beautiful composition to the cover great colors great complementary colors uh the figure really just kind of pops out you know what i'm saying it, art wise not you know horn dog wise you know what i'm saying i still trying to figure out the practicality of this outfit there but hey it's all good uh pick this up for four dollars it typically it, typically goes for around 10 to 20 at this point so and this one just kind of showed up on my radar so i'm really happy to have found it i think i just put this on my want list like earlier this week so i was happy to have found it all right here's another variant now i'm surprised now i'm really surprised that this one doesn't go for more than what it does this is gotham academy number one uh, this is the 1 in 25 variant, and this is the first appearance of this character here. I gotta remember her name. Is it? It's it's Olive Silverlock, right? 
I love Silverlock. So she's the main character of this title. Uh, I read the issue, and I got to say, I loved it. I thought it was terrific. I think the art in it was spectacular. It felt like I was watching like animation. It, it just had such a great kinetic feel to it. Um, the story in and of itself, you know, teen angst. I, nobody gets tired of teen angst in stories, right? So, and she has a lot of it. <laughs> so, yeah, really good story, great art. And I'm like, shit, do I get the individual issues or do I get the trade? I don't know. But I do want to keep reading this because this was a really good book. So, yeah. And I, I picked this up for six bucks. They had it, the price tag on it was 12 and it was in their half off thing so I got this for six and this was this has been there for a really long time and I don't know how people kept passing this book up but I finally broke down because I've seen this book for weeks on end I just finally broke down and bought it for six just because I think because everybody loves them a good sassy female character in comic books right and here you go right here and it's her first appearance, and it's a variant, and I'm surprised it just doesn't go for more than what it does. It typically goes for about 10 to 20 bucks, and $10 is pretty much the norm on this. You know what I'm saying? So, and, and it should go for way more. But hey, what do you? Hey, what do you want from me? I'm just, I'm just, I don't know what I am, but I'm something. Okay, we're moving along. Speaking of sassy female characters, we have Invincible Iron Man number nine. I found this. Uh, first full appearance of Riri Williams, the female Iron Man, I guess you can say. Uh, I I was searching for this, and I found it at the store that I got this, Gotham Academy. And I guess I beat a guy there by about 10 minutes because he saw me with, because this guy saw me with it. He's like, oh, nice. I was searching for that one. And I'm like, oh, whew, whew. at least I found this one. And but and he now he gave me props on finding the book. Now, if I had seen him with it, I would have been steaming, fuming mad because <laughs> I'm a big old hater. <laughs> but yeah, found it. OK, I'm happy. All right. Uh, ba -ba -ba, I went to another store and found this. This is Action Comics 419. First appearance of the human target. I got this for six dollars. This book is in near mint condition. Now, this was in the five dollar box, and I think the guy charged me a dollar more than what he should have. But I, I'm fine with that, just because hell, you'll pay six dollars in shipping on a, a near mint book like this. And like, if I got this thing graded, this thing is clean, like super clean. If I got this graded, it probably would come back at a nine, at least. And for six dollars for a copy of this, hell yeah. What does a book like this go for in this condition? Like maybe thirty bucks? I don't know. Mm. Mm. And also, when I was at the store, I uh, picked up uh, Vision Number One. It's the regular. It's the regular edition. But yeah, found that. Recover price. Blah blah blah. All right, we're moving along. Okay, now at this same store, I found, brace yourself, brace yourself, for easily, easily, I'm going to go out on a limb and say this book is easily top five flash covers of all time. Top five. What do you think? What do you think? Beautiful cover, but beautiful cover. No argument there, but top five flash cover, what do you think? Top 10? Okay, all right. I still think top five. Okay, this is Flash number eight. This is from the 2010 series. This is right before the New 52 kicked off. Uh, this is an art germ cover. Now, I think in the last couple of months, I know, well, I'll say a couple of months ago, this book was going for $10 at the most. And in the past few weeks, in the past couple of weeks, this book has kind of gone up in price to, I would say about around, uh, to or about, to about around, to, I would say a 40 to $50 book, easy. So, I, I mean, you might be able to find it cheaper online. I don't know. I'm just saying from my experience or from what I'm seeing. So, yeah, beautiful. Man, that is an awesome cover. Damn, I could stare at this. I picked this up for 10 bucks. I was happy with that. So, 
because this one just showed up kind of on my radar as this one showed up on my radar too along with uh that one so i'm happy to have you know been able to kind of cross that off the list really quick really quickly so yeah all right went to another store locally and found what is this this is deadpool number three from uh i believe this is this current series this is number three the one in 25 variant i picked, i found this for cover price and this book typically can go for 20 uh i would say around 15 at the most you know what i'm saying so yeah happy to have found that all right now we're getting on we're moving on to the road trip books now this is exo man of war number this is just a trade paperback collecting the first four issues of the original valiant series this is from this is this uh trade here is from the early 90s now why i actually showed this is that this is why why i actually showed this is because it's i guess you can say this is a variant this is a blue logo variant I believe these are second prints, but you really don't see them around that much. So, uh, like, if this, I th the first print, I believe this logo is white, I believe. So, and they did that for a number of the uh, uh, Valiant trades from this time period. I know they did that with uh, Rye. And they did that with Harbinger as well. I believe I have the second prints of those too. But it goes for a little something. So I don't want to harp on it too long. But I'm happy to found it. I got it for I got it for like two bucks. And it's still sealed up. So a lot of these uh, Valiant trades, they should still be sealed if you're going to buy them. Especially for like ten bucks or something like that. But I picked this up for two bucks. And it's still sealed. Okay, we're moving on with... Uh, uh, X23 Target X. Uh, this is the variant for this. I believe this is a one in either one in ten or one in twenty-five. Uh, I found two copies of these for uh, seven fifty a piece, and that is a terrific price considering that they're going for like around forty to fifty dollars a piece. So yeah, I found these for seven fifty. Yeah. Okay. Speaking of more X23. Uh, found two copies of the X-23 Women of Marvel one-shot. Now, a month ago, I saw this. I saw a near-mint copy. A near-mint copy for $7, okay? And I said to myself, that's too much. I want to I wanna pay... I don't want to pay more than $5 for a copy. And two weeks later... And so I passed the book up. I passed the book up. Two weeks later, the book shoots up for shoots up to, I think like a hundred dollar book, <laughs> or something crazy like that. And I'm just kicking myself ever since. Now I already had a copy, so that's why I wasn't too pressed to spend seven dollars on that copy because it was only going for say twenty dollars at the most. You know what I'm saying? And I just figured, eh, I don't want to pay seven. I think, t I think, if a book is going for twenty, then I only want to pay five. You know what I'm saying? That's kind of how I think a lot of the times. But that book just like just shot up out of nowhere to become a hundred dollar book. And so now these I picked up for pretty much cover price. But don't get it twisted. The these are a little rough. Uh, there's like heavy creasing along the spine on both of these. I think this one looks better than this one. Uh, I still think I can get more than what I paid for these, definitely, but still, I don't know, I don't know. I'm still kicking myself for passing that near mint copy up though. Okay, we're moving along uh, with this book here, New Avengers number 27. Uh, what's what's so special about this? Nothing much. I, okay, I don't know if this is a one in twenty. I don't know if this is a one in fifty. I don't know if this is a one in one hundred. I like I get because when I look this book up, I get conflicting 
information on this as to what ratio this book is. Uh, I found this for cover price, a, n a nice near mint copy for cover price, and the price on this online, like on eBay, it fluctuates. It's, you know, sometimes it'll go for five, sometimes it'll go for twenty, sometimes it'll go for fifty. You know what I'm saying? So I I don't know. There's a lot of just fluctuating info, a lot of fluctuating prices on this, but I found it for uh pretty for cover price or close to cover price. So meh. I, I'm happy to have it. Good looking cover too. I love good Lionel Francis U cover. So yeah. All right. Okay. Now this book was tough as nails to find. This is uh, Marvel Comics Presents number 175. And this is the final issue in the series. I'm not going to say this book is expensive, but it's definitely really, really hard to find. Um, I know when I was... Uh, I've had this on my want list for, I would say, close to a month. And in that month, really haven't found it, really hadn't found it. And I went to one of my honey holes when I was out of town. And, of course, they had it. So, yeah. Yeah, very happy about that. I don't really know what this book goes for. Maybe 10, maybe 15. I don't know. But I just know it's really tough to find. Okay, now this is the book that made the trip totally worth it. Uh, this is Batman 682. I uh, believe this is the 1 in 25 uh, Joker variant. Um, I know I showed, I think about a month ago, I showed you uh, 682. I mean, I'm sorry, 680. I showed you 680, that variant. And that one goes for around 30. And this one goes for around, I picked this up for, I got this for cover price. Like this thing was just hiding and I, and I was able to pick this up for cover price. That is, oh, <laughs> oh I'm so happy. But um, <laughs> but what do I, what I want to say about this? This goes for, I want to say raw and really high grade can go for around 50 to 60. It can go for that much. I'm not saying you're going to pay that, or anybody's going to pay that much online, but I'm just saying from what I've seen, it can go for that much. So I found a... $60 book for cover price. That is freaking awesome, man. Hell yeah. Very happy about that. Um, what more can I say about that? I mean, because I, I was looking for this ever since I bought 680, and I didn't think to look for this one as well when I was uh, searching for 680. So yeah, Batman 682. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, shout out to KKN Comics because while I was out and about, Although um, I didn't, wasn't, I wasn't emotionally able to re really respond to the comments. Uh, <laughs> I did uh, check them, and I saw that he said something about picking up X twenty three Target X number five. I believe this is the first time that Kamora and uh, X twenty three. I believe this is the first time that they actually meet, or something to that effect. So um, he let me know about this, and I was already at the store, so I bought this book, So and I found it for cover price, so thanks for that. All right, I uh, went to another store and found this. Actually, this has been there for a really long time. Um, this is Bloodshot Reborn number 10. I got this for $20. Uh, I don't know, like at the time, I didn't want to spend $20 on it. But I know this this book is kind of going up in price. You know what I'm saying? So it went from 40 about a month ago to to like 50 to 60. Sometimes it can go for 70. I think 50 might be the sweet spot for this book. But I figure for 20, pay, pay 20 for a $50 book. Eh, why not? And this is the uh, sketch variant. So is that Aunt B? That looks like Aunt B. From the Andy Griffin show to me. Hmm, okay. Moving along. All right, now this is another book I think is very much undervalued in my opinion. Uh, Punisher number one. Uh, this is, I don't know what series this, series this is. This might be the eighth series. Uh, this is a Neil Adams, I, I think one in 25, either one in 25 or one in 50 cover. I forget. But I was able to pick this up for five dollars and this book is isn't near mint condition uh, i tell you what how about 
near mint minus condition because there's a little bit blending right there. But this is my second copy of this. And I don't know. I think this book is undervalued just because, one, it's a Neil Adams cover and he's doing The Punisher, which I never really have seen them done, do before. And this is also the first appearance of Rachel Cole, Rachel Alves Cole, who's like the female Punisher. I don't, is she still around or did she die? <laughs> I don't know, but I still think this is an undervalued book. It can go for 20, but it probably should go for more just because. I've had, because I bought a copy about a year ago and uh, very happy about that. So very happy to find this for five. And last but not least, we have, now I really don't care about Tron variants all like that, but this was only five bucks and it can go for 15 it can go for 20 so i'm just like eh. i'm not saying you know i'm not saying it typically goes for that much but it can so i picked this up for five this is wolverine number four the tron variant so eh. why not right why not picked it up okay that's my haul uh very happy that my cat is back there she is there she is daddy loves you yay there she is still sleeping so I'm very happy. <laughs> I'm so happy Sylvester is back. But yeah. Uh, all right. That's my haul. Thanks for watching. <laughs> and I'll see you next time. Bye.